Venom cake. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this incredibly beautiful, not scary at all, Venom cake. Let's get started. Now I'm Reese Witherspoon and you're watching Animal Planet. My intros are so boring, so we're just gonna mess around with them for a while. Now this video is a collab with Jonathan Pierce from Icy Donuts. He contacted me on Facebook and he was like, I know you're gonna make a venom cake. I see you over there and I know it's coming because you like that Marvel stuff. I know I see you. I'll leave a link to his stuff all at the end so that you can go watch it. Now to create this cake, I am using my Skull Cake Pan. I bought it at Marshall's. But they really need to sponsor me because I use the Skull Mold a lot. Now I leveled off each of my cakes in the pan so that when I took them out, they were completely flat. I just placed the bottom onto the cake board and added some buttercream into the middle of the cake. Then I placed on the front of the skull and voila, simple, simple. I could sell a million cake pans if you sponsored me and I would be happy to do so. I'm just gonna blend the buttercream into the side of the cake and then place it into the fridge for about 45 minutes. I put mine in the fridge for about four hours, I think. I was watching Netflix and I started watching the second season of Iron Fist, that's what it was. The first season, oh, it's, it's not great. Some people enjoyed it. Not this guy. I only started watching the first season because Silver, or the actress that plays Silver in 90210, um, is a character in this show. And so I was like really excited to see her again. Comment below if you watched 90210, because not a lot of people did, which is why they canceled it after five seasons. The reboot, not the OG one with Shannon Doherty. I took my cake out of the fridge and I started to shape my Venom mask. To create the mask, I'm actually filling in the eye sockets and the nose with some cake ball dough. I just took the excess cake, added some buttercream, mixed it around, mixed it around, turned it into like this dough. Bam! Filler. Everywhere filler. Using a paring knife, I actually did have to carve the cake because I had to carve out Venom's smile. It is like ear to ear, except he has no ears. So it's face to face. What is it? Side of the face to side of the face? Is that what we're calling it? I gave my entire cake a chrome coat of buttercream. Then I placed it back in the fridge for about another two hours. It's like whenever I put it back into the fridge, I lose track of time completely. Now when the buttercream on the outside had solidified, I covered my entire cake with a very large piece of black fondant. Now the excess fondant on the bottom, I didn't cut it away. I used a sculpting tool and just pushed the fondant underneath the cake. I kind of realized that you could create a more organic line. And using some sculpting tools, I started to shape Venom's mouth and it actually created a rounded edge and I didn't like that. So I cut away the black fondant on the inside of the mouth. I'm just adding a little bit of texture so that I know where each of his teeth are gonna be. Now Venom's mask in the movie isn't completely flat. From the comic books, I almost imagine to have like the texture of like a black dolphin. In the movie, it's more like tar, like wet tar. Instead of the mask being completely smooth, I use some sculpting tools to add some texture. Now Tom Hardy is the new Venom, so step aside Topher Grace, you did a terrible job. Tom Hardy is such, his range as an actor is like that. Megan Fox, Tom Hardy. Like, it's crazy. All of the characters he's played are so different. It's almost detrimental to his acting because he's so, like, unrecognizable that you're like, is that even him? You know, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I created a template for his eyes and I just used a toothpick to outline where I wanted his eyes to be. Let's create the inside of his mouth. I'm using a very long piece of pink fondant and just pushing it into the inside with some sculpting tools. I'm gonna define his gum line a little bit more by adding strips of pink fondant. And I'm just gonna blend it in using some sculpting tools. And I'm making some small crevices just so I know where each of the teeth should go. Um, it looks really silly right now, but when you start adding all of the food coloring, the details, this looks this looks pretty sick and gruesome. Now for his teeth, I just rolled some white fondant into cones to get really sharp spikes. 
And now all of the teeth are like super sharp. Some of them are just really jagged. He doesn't have like a perfect set of teeth. He's like, like a before picture of like someone who's getting Invisalign. <laughs> I just worked my way from one side of the mouth to the other and I took out his front teeth just to make it easier when I place in his tongue. I didn't think his lips were defined enough so I'm adding a strip of black and then just blending it into the rest of the mask with some magic sauce. Now Venom's mask is made out of a symbiote. Symbiote? Symbiote. Now I didn't think that this mask looks symbiotic enough. Oh there! Symbiote or tar-like. So I'm actually adding just really random strips of black fondant to the entire mask and just blending it in with some magic sauce. Then I use my templates to create eyes with white fondant. The great thing about this is that the black fondant doesn't have to look perfect at all. So I'm using the sculpting tools with the magic sauce. I'm trying to get this like very imperfect shape. I wanted it to look like the symbiote just like took hold of Tom Hardy's like beautifully sculpted face. God bless that guy. And so it still had that sort of tar-like texture. I'm also going to blend the white eyes into the rest of the mask so that they don't look like two separate pieces. Now with a paintbrush, I just very, very carefully painted the inside of Venom's mouth with red and black food coloring. I had to like go in between each of the teeth and I had to make sure I didn't color any of the teeth. Now with some yellow food coloring, I just painted the parts of the teeth that were closest to the gums. This guy like doesn't go to the dentist at all. He looks like he just... All he does is eat cake and butter. Is this cake me? I gave his eyes a, almost like a dirty wash. I just mixed a very small amount of black food coloring into some vodka and painted it over his eyes to give it a more realistic look. Now to create his tongue, I rolled some pink fondant into a long log and then I just flattened it out with my hands. I'm using some sculpting tools to scratch it up and give it some taste bud looking things. I'm gonna cut the back of the tongue at an angle so I can fit it into the mouth properly. And then we're gonna bend it. Now I've got a non-stick silicone liner. I'm just gonna place two ramekins on the ends and create a bend in the middle. Place my tongue in the middle to give it a bend. And this is where there could have been a huge disaster and possibly a fire. So I didn't want to wait for it to get hard. So I placed it into the oven. And just like when I put things into the fridge, I forgot about it. And somehow it came out all right. But also I left my house for a good hour. <laughs> so this was, this could have, no. Uh-uh, don't do that. But luckily it was at like a hundred degrees or a little less than a hundred. Gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know. No, I'm not professional at this. Whatever this is, this is not a professional sort of setting. Now I added on the front teeth and just made the tongue look slimy with a little bit of piping gel. And then I added some more yellow food coloring. Yeah, this guy's not like taking good care of his teeth. You know how you can tell when you're not taking care of teeth? When they're a butter yellow. I'm just gonna sprinkle some edible black shimmer onto the cake so it looks more like the symbiote. And voila, our venom cake is complete. Looks sick, doesn't it? Oh, the teeth look so real. I'm very curious about what this movie's gonna be like because it's only associated with Marvel. It's not a part of the cinematic universe. Make sure you head over to IC Donuts so you can see Jonathan's cake. And his cakes are bomb. I love the Deadpool Pikachu cake. I think it might be my favorite. There's just so many layers of love to this. The combination of Marvel and Pokemon, I just love it. And he even turned me into a cake. What? Look, see? Aren't I so handsome? But my DMs are always full. <laughs> if you want to check out all of my Halloween cakes and treats, there's a playlist for you in the description box and there'll be compilation videos later this week. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on in the community tab and I'm working on all of my Halloween stuff. I just finished shooting all the cakes and now it's time for all the editing and all the talking to the camera parts. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye. Oh, where's the...